Hi, welcome to Biostock. Autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis have very limited treatment options. Swedish biotech Saxone is trying to fill this void by developing new therapies. A clinical trial application for a phase 2b study with lead candidate Robeximod has recently been approved by the authorities in Poland. This is a major milestone for the company, and here to tell us more is Saxone's acting CEO, Carl Magnus Hogekorp. Welcome, Carl Magnus. Thank you. I'd like to begin by asking you, what is Rebeximod exactly? How does it work? So, Rebeximod is a uh, first-in-class small molecule, which is uh, highly selective for macrophages. So, a, a lot of preclinic research activities have demonstrated how Rebeximod targets pro-inflammatory macrophages and dendritic cells. These are the drivers of disease in diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, it's actually been postulated now for 20 years that in order to treat rheumatoid arthritis, the primary aim should be to reduce the number of pro-inflammatory macrophages in the synovial lining of the joints. Mm -hmm. uh, I, have this uh, cartoon which demonstrates how macrophages are really driving the disease and the current treatment landscape today consists of uh, drugs that targets single molecular targets that are downstream of macrophages. But so far there is no drug on the market that actually targets the macrophage itself. And that's what we would like to change with Rebeximod. I see. You recently received the approval from the authorities in Poland and, and I was wondering uh, for this uh, phase 2b study and I was wondering why is Poland uh, the country of choice for this study? So uh, we, we, in order to run clinical trials uh, based on patients that are currently on standard of care methotrexate, uh, we typically find those patients in countries like Poland, Hungary, Georgia, and um, other countries in, in the eastern part of Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where we have a higher likelihood of finding the patient patients that are relevant for this particular study. Okay. And uh, well, regarding the study, what are the main objectives that you have in mind for, for this phase 2b study? If we look at the, this cartoon here, we see that uh, in our phase 2a program, uh, we ran a study with Rebeximod on quite severe RA patients. Uh, and what we found here is uh, we had a readout at week 12, and then we continued out without treatment after week 12 and followed up to week 16. And we saw that the patient actually improved over this time window. And we saw that as very, very exciting, very promising, uh, demonstrating potential disease modifying effect from Rebeximod. So in the next st uh, study, the phase 2b, we're picking up on that and we're therefore running the study up until week 16, where we have the readout and then we will follow up for an additional eight weeks, uh, still treating with Rebeximod in order to collect more safety information. Um, what is interesting here, though, is that this study, phase 2b, we are running on RA patients that are less severe, mm -hmm. so have not been diagnosed with disease as long. And we see that uh, this is of interest uh, because Rebeximod has been shown in uh, preclinical models to be more effective in the early phases of the disease course. In this study, we also have a readout primary endpoint uh, with utilizing the DAS28 score, which is more aligned with the current guidelines, both from EMA and FDA. Yeah, so, so that's, that's really the outline of the, the upcoming study. Okay. Uh, and we're starting out in Poland, as you mentioned. Poland will be the major contributor of patients to this study. So it's a very important uh, country for us. 
Okay, and uh, I, I see you, you show a little bit of a timeline here, uh, but I'm wondering, do you already know when to expect uh, the first patient to be recruited? So where we currently are now, we, we will be uh, having more than Poland uh, in the mix of countries. We expect to have in total eight countries. Uh, Poland, Hungary and Georgia are the first countries we're starting out with. And hopefully we'll be able to then uh, in include or uh, enroll the first patient beginning of uh, next year. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, in, uh, looking further ahead in, in the timeline, uh, do, you, do you already know when to expect efficacy results from the study? So the study is expected to run for around 18 months. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, we, uh, it, it all it depends on whether we can activate all the 44, 45 sites. Uh, and, and run them effic effect effectively throughout this time period. Mm -hmm. But uh, 18 months in, in the best case. And uh, well, uh, while we wait patiently uh, these 18 months, do you, do you expect an active news flow from Saxon in, in the coming months? Yes, of course, all of these uh, activities with the clinical study will be highlighted when we, uh, the first patient in is very important, of course, and as we reach 50% of uh, the enrollment, mm -hmm. that's also a very important uh, milestone in this uh, project. Well, we definitely look forward to following Saxon in, in the coming months. Thank you all for uh, joining us for this conversation with Saxon's acting CEO, Carl Magnus Hogekorp, about the upcoming Phase 2B study with Rabaximod. And thank you so much, Carl Magnus, for joining us today. Thank you.